Hi, my name is Melissa of MelissaJLevittDesigns.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a knitting chart with OpenOffice.org. So um, the nice thing about knitting off, or OpenOffice.org is that it's a free program that you can download and it's actually quite easy to use. So uh, once you download it and open it up, um, you're going to choose the option of opening up a spreadsheet. So just click on that. And the first thing you're going to notice is that all of the squares are uh, too big, like if you were going to create a grid. So first thing you need to do is resize them. The way to do that is to go into the upper left corner, click on that white square, and you'll notice everything gets highlighted. So if you move your cursor to your, uh, between the A and the B, you'll notice that it becomes aligned with two arrows on either side. Um, just simply click and drag to the left. There we go. Looks pretty good. And you can also adjust the height of the cell size as well. Um, simply go to the uh, line between the 1 and the 2, click and drag. Now I'm going to leave it like this because I think that actually looks pretty good. Uh, knitting charts sometimes have squares for their cells. I prefer a rectangle. It just it looks like a, a true knitting stitch to me. It's all preference. Okay, so just click anywhere on there so that you can deselect the cells. And now you're going to choose an area to work in to create your chart. So simply click on an area, right click with your mouse, and drag. And you're selecting. There we go. So now we need to create the dark borders for our um, our chart. So what you do is while it's selected, you just go up to this little button here. It's like a little square and it says borders. Choose the one that looks like a window pane. Boom. Okay, it looks good. Now as well, anything that we write in here currently is going to show up as either letters or numbers because we are in the font, uh, it's the default font of Arial. We want to change that to the knitting symbol that you have, like one of those free fonts that you can download. Um, so I'm going to change this. There we go, there's my knitting font. I'm using uh, Knitting Symbols by CET. And as well, I want to have all of my uh, symbols centered in each cell. So while it's still highlighted, I'm just going to hit that align center horizontally button. There we go. Okay, so I'm ready to work there, but I do want to add something else. I want to add a round count column or a row count column. It just makes it easier for um, people to follow your charts. So I'm just going to move over one from my grid and I'm just going to simply type in the number one. There we go. Above that, I just clicked on the next square above and I type in the 2. Alright, now this is the part I love. Go back to the 1 and highlight it just by clicking on it like this. Right click while it's highlighted and drag up to the 2. So now the, both of those two squares are selected. If you move your cursor over this little black box right there, it, your cursor becomes a crosshair. Click and drag up. Watch this. Isn't that neat? Awesome. Great. That saves a lot of time. And actually, when you are writing out your pattern or, or charting your pattern, this is such a handy feature. Okay. So now I've got that done. But I also want to add the stitch count column. So again, I'm just going to go right here because we're going to indicate this will be my first. And as you know, charts read from right to left. So I click on this button here, or this cell here, and I type in the 1. I move over, click on that, and type in the 2. Go back to the 1, click on it, right click with my mouse, and drag so the 2 are highlighted. Whoops! <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Just one second here. There, I'll put it back where it was. Okay, so click on little black box 
and move it to the left. Excellent. Perfect. Now I think I will center those numbers. So I'm going to go up to the Align Center Horizontally button. There we go. Okay. So I think that looks good. I'm just going to scroll up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's add a stitch. So I'm going to go to Insert up here, click on it, and I'm going to go to the option that says Special Character. This brings up my window where I can see the majority of my knitting symbols. So I'm going to put in a purl stitch. This is what I'm going to use for a purl stitch. There we go. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to have two purls, two knits. I'm going to represent a knit stitch by just leaving the cell blank. just makes it easy. Okay, so I'm going to click on that purl switch or stitch. I'm going to hit Control C to copy it. I'm go over here, hit Control V as in Victor to paste it. Now I'm going to go back to the first one, highlight, and then click. Or, right, or I should say right click and I'm going to drag so that it's copied or it's I should say selected both of those. Oh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> Ignore that. Okay so I'm going to click on that right click and drag so I've got these four selected. Two pearls and two blank squares representing my two knit stitches. I go back click on the little black square, right click, and I'm dragging across. There we go. Yay! Ooh. Well, that's not exactly. Well, anyway, you get the point. So now, because where we are doing a, um, a rib, we now need to do more rows. So I could just simply do the same thing over uh, from scratch where you know I put in the pearl and then I highlight my mother. I don't want to do that. It's a waste of time. So I'm just going to go back because I'm everything is still highlighted so I'm going to go back to this little square right click on it. I'm going to go up five rows. Beautiful. Great. Now I've got my ribbon so I can now start to chart the, my pattern repeat. Isn't that cool? And uh, it's such a handy feature. And uh, when you're done, you can save it. And you, when you want to add it to your uh, template that you're writing up for your pattern, which I'll, I'll also do a video tutorial of that later. But you just simply highlight like this, hit Control C to copy and paste it into your other document. Works perfect that way. Because I know some people have tried to um, create the, uh, they create their, their chart and then they hit this PDF, export directly as PDF and you get like tons and tons of sheets that come with it because this is sheet one. You see down here? Oh my. There we go. No, we don't want that. We just want the, this chart. So the simple thing to do is just to highlight copy and paste. That's what I do and it makes life easier. Alright, so um, if you liked what you saw or if you didn't like what you saw, leave a comment in the comments field below or email me at mjlevittdesigns at gmail.com and I'm Melissa Levitt of Melissa J. Levitt Designs and thanks for watching.